People of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People of Seven on Twitter, YouTube, people are elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly peoplablogspotcom and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at peoplablogetsy.com, and my t shirt designs, Purple Butterfly peoplablogetmail.com. Hey! And today is the first day using my brace full time and just thought I'd show it to you. Kind of looks like the bionic woman, don't it? Now there's a couple of little issues with it. For one thing, I think they gave me a brace that's too big. They claim it fits right. So when I go to put the straps on, this strap right here is supposed to go somewhere in the midline, right? When I put it to where I need it, it doesn't connect anything because that's where the metal is. So I have to bring it back just a little bit just so it sticks to something. Okay, the brace that I was fitted for was purple and pink. Custom made to my frame. Made of carbon, blah, 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 lightweight. This is a Don Joy armor made of aluminum and is very heavy and is size for a guy. I am a tall girl, but there are certain things on the female body that nobody's going to say, ah, well, it's interchangeable. <laughs> Because there's certain things that are not interchangeable. Like the size of the calves is totally different. That's why it's loose right here. And then when you try to adjust it here, you know, where it's supposed to fit here and here, it's a little bit off because it's also adjusted for a guy. So, yeah. But in the meantime, because I'm supposed to be able to do everything with this brace that I was able to do before my ACL and the stroke and my brain decided to not cooperate and all that, which is how come I end up with both a rollator and a brace, I am going to see if I can do my simply fit workout and it didn't even have to be a good one it didn't even have to be fast i just want to be able to see if i can do it without my leg giving out on me of course at the moment the leg can't give out on me the moment my leg tries to superplex backwards that brace kicks in so it keeps it from doing that now the thing is if my knee decides to go this way that's where the rollator is because I need that grip, you know, for that part. But, yeah. I'm still standing. <laughs> okay. Let's move the feet in closer. That'll concentrate the workout. But that also let me end the workout a lot sooner. Let me scoot back. And scoot forward. And see if I can do the walk and the twist and the walk again I can still maneuver yeah so if nothing else the brace does one thing even though it's not the one that I'm I'm thinking it's you know since they had to send me a brace it was delayed in shipping because they were supposed to get the brace to me in October and they didn't send it and then my doctor called in January we're still in January and <laughs> that's dated two days from the time that you know it's like hey that took two days to get here so where's the one that was ordered in October so far as I know that one is still coming. No one said they canceled it or anything. 
And if that's the case and they send the pink and purple one that's made for my exact measurements, then this is just a fun backup. But if this is supposed to be the one that I'm supposed to use, then the paperwork that says we resize and blah, 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 they're going to have to get on the case because uh, that's just too loose. I mean, literally. And it's not like this is my first brace ever, so I know how they're supposed to feel. And this one literally feels like it's five pounds just for the brace, just on my thigh, by itself. So, how you go rehab when you're dealing with stuff like that? So, in the meantime, let's come over here where the lighting's better. Ooh, that was a workout though. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, now, let me show you what it looks like. This is the Armor for for Force. Oh, better yet. This. Let's see if I can stand back. Just to do this is worth it. <laughs> I've been able to do that for a while. It's like if I went to do a side swipe, especially during an exercise, my ankle would go like this and then just kind of drop. So I couldn't do that for the longest. It would be like this and then uh, and then you had to catch yourself. So yeah. Now ideally, when you wear a brace like this, it's supposed to be skin to skin. Which means I put this on, after I wash up and everything, directly on my dry skin. Two things wrong with that. One, my skin is never dry. I mean, I have to dry it with a towel and everything, but I don't even need lotion. My skin is moist. See? No lotion, but I'm moist. So I would have to actually have to take alcohol with them to get dry to, you know, do that. And then too, when you try to, you know, put something on that doesn't quite fit on your bare skin, it's going to hurt. So I just took some of my leggings, put it on there, and took some of my um, It Stays Body Adhesive and put it everywhere that it would touch so that way it doesn't slip and slide it's just literally in this spot gripped and then i'll just go ahead and put some jeans or whatever on top of this because it's it's cold in the city so it isn't going to matter if i use these as another layer of clothing but yeah so that's my brace and this is me being winded. So I am going to have a seat. Yeah. I mean, literally, I'm sweating too. And I'm going to take this. We're going to call that the workout for today. I'm going to go get jump on a scale and everything and do everything that I would normally do if I didn't have the brace on. And that includes the weight check and all of that. Oy. Yes, mommy. You shouldn't be cold. It's 80 degrees in this house. It's 80 degrees inside of this house. Yes. And outside is 47. So it's a rainy day. Put on a sweater to compensate. And then put your blanket on top of you. Ain't nobody turning up the heat to no 90. What? I said, I guess I'll get warm soon enough. Mm-hmm. Just bundle. You're reacting to the moisture in the air. Anyway, 
This has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere, or the Internet. Gotta wash my hair. <laughs> my blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com. My soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at people.etsy.com. And my t-shirt design is purplebutterfly-people.tmail.com. Y'all stay blessed and stay tuned.